Hi! So, I was thinking, maybe today's video... <laughs> How, like, I'm like... Oh my god! I just got these... I got these shorts from the Goodwill, and I see why someone donated them. Because, like, everything I do, like, this little thing just unbuttons itself. It's really irritating. Um... I was thinking today's video could maybe be like hunting about hunting for the D because right now I really wish I could hunt for the D because I started dating this guy and we said we're exclusive to each other which is good I mean it's good it's very nice and I see it turning into a real relationship and I know what you're thinking or maybe you're not thinking it <laughs> Um, then in my last video, I was, like, all upset about the, um, what's-his-face telling my aunt that I'm a hoe, I'm a stripper, <laughs> and, like, that I, like, ended up saying something like, oh, like, I'm still in love with my ex. It doesn't take long for, for me to realize, oh, yeah, that guy, he's an asshole. So, yeah, I was just upset and lonely. That's why I said that. But now I'm not, and I've been getting some good D. I'm getting dick down pretty good. So good, it make it like, I think it started my period early today. So, it's good D. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I was just at the laundromat, and uh, there was this really cute guy, tall, cute, dark hair, light eyes, and... Like, I keep having to, like, scooch by him whenever, like, I went to go drop off the clothes and then put the clothes in the dryer. I had to, like, scooch by him. And I was just like, man, I wish I could hunt for the D. Because I... It's just fun. It's just fun to hunt for D. Like, out in the fucking wild. <laughs> like, fuck Tinder. But yeah, now I, I don't... Now I can't really hunt for the D. I've shot myself in the foot. But I was thinking... I could just maybe talk about times that I hunted for the D and it failed. <laughs> Case in point, Mexico, which was like about less than a month ago I was in Mexico. It was a lot of fun. I went for my brother's graduation from med school. It's like fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was drunk the whole time, and drunk me just wants to hunt. I don't like, I don't like, um, actually getting fucked. I think that, like, hunting for it is way more enjoyable than, like, actually being fucked. I like being fucked by someone that, like, I don't know, like, I'm more comfortable with, you know? Not like some random stranger that I feel, like, dirty, like a dirty hoe, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Mexico, I was not very successful at um, getting the D, which I'm pretty glad because I was really drunk and I probably would have forgotten to put on a condom or something or have him put one on. But, um, yeah, um, first night we went out to, like, I think it's called Papa's and Beer. And one of his friends, one of my brother's friends, well, the reason why, I'm so scatterbrained. The reason why I wasn't getting any fucking D in Mexico was because everyone I was hanging around with is like buddy buddy with my brother. And my brother down there is like, oh, like everyone fucking loves him. So yeah, he has good friends that, well, most of them are. Um, <laughs> this one guy though at Papa's and Beer that was like my brother's friend like kept like hitting on me or whatever I don't know but he was like annoying I thought he was cute at first but he was just being like annoyingly like aggressive with me and I'm just like I feel like you're in control I don't I don't like this anymore and then I started like stepping on like he would like he would like dance like around me and be like this and then he'd like get lower, right? And then I just like started like 
pushing him down to the ground and then I stepped on his chest with my flip-flop and that was like the most enjoyable thing to do ever but yeah he was just so annoying um I'm so sidetracked but yeah like I tried getting the D at like my brother's like graduation dinner party and like that was fun it was like I was like chasing the D, but then I get bored and I go chase another one. <laughs> but yeah, like I was so dick thirsty over there. <laughs> I'm like, my brother was like driving me home from the dinner because he could see I was starting to get fucked up. And I needed to be up like really early in the morning. So he, was, so he was taking me home. But he was taking me home with one of his friends. One of his friends was like coming with my brother. So he dropped me off. And I didn't see. I, this was my first time seeing this friend. And I just like look back at him. And like he like gives me like some whiskey. And I drink it. And I'm just like you want to come inside? <laughs> like are you sure? <laughs> and that didn't work. But there was also... This old, this older man that was in my sister's, mo like the hotel that she was staying at, um, like the he was like a few rooms down from her, and I was walking my dog, but for uh, I discovered she does not like being up high at all. It like freaked her the fuck out, so she was just like walking like this, and like did not want to move, but like I have to walk her, like she can't pee in the fucking hotel room. Um, but yeah, there was this one guy that had his door open, and, like, she was trying to get into his room, because I think she thought that it was the right room, and she was just scared, and, um, yeah, he, I asked him for a cigarette, because my sister wanted one, and then, like, my brother came over, I was, like, trying to get me away from this guy, and then whenever my brother wasn't looking, and me and this guy looked at each other, and he was like, whatever you want. If you, like, like kind of, like, mouths to me, like, if you want to come inside here, like, it's cool, like, later, you know, like, to fuck. And I wasn't very attracted to him, but then the drunker I got the, I guess, I guess drunk me really thought about it, because I did spend one night at my sister's, I spent that night at my sister's hotel room. And I guess, like, it was, like, five in the morning, and I just, like, woke up, and I was already trashed. Like, <laughs> I guess I woke up, and I was naked. And I was trying to leave the hotel room. I don't remember any of this. My sister had to tell me about it. But my guess is I was trying to go get fucked by that guy. <laughs> I was trying to leave the hotel room, like, naked. Ugh. I don't know. This isn't really hunting for D story times, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what this is, really. But I just, I just wanted to come on here and say that I love hunting for the D. And now I don't get to hunt for the D. At least... Not in the foreseeable future. But I got some good deed going right now. I got some good dick. I've been getting dick down. I got dick down this morning. It was very nice. And, oh, there was this, like, last year whenever I was single. That was fun hunting for some D. I brought home some stray D from the strip club. It's always like, I don't know, it's just like the sex is never as good as I think it's going to be, but it's just hunting for it. It's like, uh, I don't know. There's nothing about hunting for it that is fun. So yeah, thank you, random guy at laundry mat. <laughs> Mm. But I guess I can just put all this energy into work because I'm going to work tonight and I know I'm not getting any dick tonight so I'll just put all that energy towards making guys give me money. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. Did I? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Hopefully. Um. Oh, one more thing. 
if you guys have video ideas, because I've noticed that I've gotten a couple more subscribers lately. If you have any video ideas, stuff you want me to post, tell me. Well, that's so stupid. This doesn't like everyone. Else. I don't know. But I do have this one video of me that I recorded, like, last week, whenever it was released, whenever, like, it started to die down and it was just, like, me and another girl working. Um, I recorded a video of me on stage. It's not very good, though, because, like, I feel like I look kind of fat in it in some parts. But, like, I mean, what, what am I going to do? I'm a short person. Like, every, like, little fucking pound I put on, it's very noticeable. So... Hmm. But I might post that and yeah. Hopefully next time whenever you guys see me, my eyebrow will already be pierced because that is a plan I want to do for this week. I was watching this one comedy special and they said this guy said that girls with eyebrow piercings like something about like I don't know something about like them like they like to get fisted and I'm like I'll take it take it okay um I think that's it I have to be productive today <coughs> yeah that's it 